If no one can change the protocol, not me, not God, there's no power in money. What a beautiful quote. There's no power in money. Craig, you made me cry a little man. Touch me right here. What is the distinction between BTC, BCH and BSV? What do people mean by a banker's coin? And which really is a banker's coin? To this day, people are misinformed and unknowledgeable about the free. Even worse, what they hold true is actually in reverse. Due to social engineering, paid influences and pure ignorance and laziness to do their own research, the vast majority of crypto enthusiasts have been bamboozled. In this video, I will break it down and really dump it down to set the record straight once and for all. I'll take you down the rabbit hole and show you the unpleasant sinister truth. So ladies and gents, let's begin. Let's start this off with a nice analogy. How to bake a Satoshi chocolate cake recipe book. Please stay with me, this will all come together nicely. Now, to bake a Satoshi chocolate cake, we will need 200 grams of golden caster sugar, 200 grams of unsalted butter, four large eggs, 200 grams of self-raising flour, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and so on and so on. So on the left we have the ingredients, and on the right we have a method of cooking. This is the Satoshi chocolate cake recipe book. What if I replaced certain key ingredients for example instead of 200 gram of golden custard sugar i put 100 gram of golden custard sugar instead of four large eggs i put two geese eggs instead of two tablespoons of milk i would remove this ingredient altogether instead of 200 and i would also change the method of cooking this particular satoshi chocolate cake if i would then hand it to you would you say that you got the original satoshi cake or would you say cj you messed around with the ingredients it is no longer the satoshi cake it is something different you see the thing is the bitcoin white paper is the recipe book for bitcoin a little screenshot from bitcoin top you can easily google this by satoshi nakamoto june 17 2010 quote the nature of Bitcoin is such that once version 0.1 was released, the core design was set in stone for the rest of its lifetime. The design supports a tremendous variety of possible transactions type that I designed years ago. Escrow transactions, bonded contracts, third party arbitration, multi-party signature, ETC. If Bitcoin catches on in a big way, these are things we'll want to explore in the future. But they all had to be designed at the beginning to make sure they would be possible later. The key thing to take away from this is that the nature of Bitcoin is such that once version 0.1 was released, the core design was set in stone for the rest of its lifetime. So, if the protocol is set in stone, then by definition, no changes are to occur. It means nothing is to be changed, nothing is to be added, and nothing is to be removed. The recipe for Bitcoin was set in stone in the Bitcoin white paper, which you can call the Bitcoin recipe book. If no one can change the protocol, not me, not God, there's no power in money. What a beautiful quote, there's no power in money. Craig, you made me cry a little man. Touch me right here. If the protocol can be changed, it is a control system with a central power structure. A protocol only stays decentralized when no one has the power to change it. Now, ladies and gents, I do understand the confusion. When I heard that, hold on, BCH, a fork, it's gonna fork again? What? How does that make sense? However, only when you start doing your research, you actually start to understand what went on and what's going on. So you have the original protocol since 2009, right? And then in 2017, uh, there's a scaling issue. And rather than following the original recipe as described, where you're just meant to make small blocks into bigger blocks, they decided to add SegWit. And when I say they, we're talking about Blockstream core devs. What happened? We'll get back to that. Uh, it gets really interesting, I assure you. 
So what happened then? Roger was like, uh, why are we adding SegWit? No, let's just follow the original code. Something that's worked for so many years. If it's uh, why reinvent the wheel or there's a nice English saying, if it's not broken, don't fix it. We can just increase the blocks period and that's it problem solved so uh the core devs are like nah we want to go with segwit and i wonder why we'll get back to this stay with me so this is where the split happened right how however the nature of bitcoin is that there are no forks if you change it add segwit add new opcodes remove opcodes opcodes stand for operational codes it is not bitcoin forks are a new competing protocol Forks are a new coin. Forks are a new product, just like with the cake analogy. You add or remove something, it's a different cake. It's no longer the original. It's a competing product. It's a different product. Bitcoin protocol is set in stone. So BCH, contrary to what the majority of people think, followed the original Bitcoin white paper and they just they increased the block size. We're at SegWit, currently Bitcoin at number one. We're going to refer to it as SegWit coin uh to to for clarity purposes went off in another direction then what happened craig joined roger and every, uh, everything was great um everything was fine and then at some point once again roger and jihan wu and their team decided to add another feature add something that wasn't in the original bitcoin white paper this is where once again they had uh a little bit of a controversy i believe they added wormhole uh, which made uh, bitcoin cash no longer work within law now you might think who cares however i assure you if anything remotely facilitates encourages uh, makes it possible wh whatever words you want to choose to make money laundering possible it's just the clock starts ticking down. It's just a matter of time before they crack down on it. It's happened so many times before. Believe me, it's a matter of time before this happens again. So anyway, this is where BCH and Bitcoin SV apparently split. Now, Bitcoin SV is actually the protocol that stayed true to the original white paper where no changes have been made since the beginning, since the release of client 0.1. Remember set in stone? Well, that is it for, for just to make, to make this clearer beyond any reasonable doubt. So 2009 original Bitcoin protocol. Here we go. In 2017, Bitcoin SegWit forks off as a, comp a competing protocol of the original bitcoin bitcoin cash represented in green carries on and stays true and loyal to the original white paper the one that was etched in stone however in 2018 they decide that they want to add a few new opcodes here and there and they split off as another competing protocol whereas bitcoin sv stays true to the original protocol the one over here the one that started off in 2009 currently as we speak bitcoin sv is the only protocol that is exactly as it was when bitcoin first uh during the genesis block and in 2020 february they're gonna have a genesis upgrade where it will fully have all the features as bitcoin was first birthed into this world with the biggest blocks and it will be the fastest blockchain in this world game over have a look at one more infographic to really clarify this by the way whoever made this thank you very much so ticker forks a ticker is a name for example btc for bitcoin bch for bitcoin cash and bsv for bitcoin sv now in 2017 when the fork happened segwit coin hijacked the bitcoin name and kept the bitcoin name whereas bch bitcoin cash that followed the original white paper got renamed into bitcoin cash well bugger and then in november 2018 when bitcoin cash decided that they wanted to add some features that were not there in a white paper uh, once again a split happened 
uh, BSV, Bitcoin SV once again stay true to the original white paper and it got renamed into BSV. So at this point, I understand that if you're not really deep, deep into crypto, and uh, then you would be confused. However, let's look on the right side where it really matters. Not the name, but the protocol, the software, the actual blockchain, the tech, the technology, okay? When it comes to the actual technology, the actual blockchain, uh, Bitcoin SV is the one that followed the 2009 0.1 client release, the one that was etched in stone, okay? In 2017, Bitcoin SegWit split off However, uh, due to social engineering and a lot of other factors, Segwit coin hijacked and kept the Bitcoin name. And in November 2018, uh, the protocol from Bitcoin forked off into Bitcoin Cash. I hope that I have made it very clear by now and all that this info and the confusion is now cleared up. Now, ladies and gents, let me take you down the rabbit hole. How the Bilderberg Group, the Federal Reserve Central Bank, and I will make a separate video on the Federal Reserve. And oh my God, crypto is just like the pinnacle of the iceberg for me. Um, and Mastercard took over Bitcoin. Henry Descartier is chairman of the Bilderberg Group. In case you don't know who they are, those are the kings, the queens, the CEOs, uh, the cream of the cream of the cream of the elites. I will go as far to say that they're even uh, family related. For example, if you didn't know, uh, the Queen of England, who is not even English, is related to uh, George Bush and like 42 other presidents. If you don't have royal blood, you're not becoming the president of the United States. Even Obama is related to George Bush. They're like 12 cousins removed. I can't make this up. Verify this for yourself. But anyway, let me stick to crypto. Otherwise, I will burn that chipset of yours. So Henry de Castro is chairman of the Bilderberg Group, CEO and chairman of AXA, Extra Strategic Ventures, invested 55 million into Blockstream. Blockstream crippled Bitcoin BTC with high fees so that people will have to use the Lightning Network or Segway, the Blockstream project for everyday transactions. Result, the Bilderberg Group, the Federal Reserve, Central Bank, Mastercard and traditional banking sector have taken over Bitcoin, Segway, crippled it to turn it into a currency system that they control and profit from. So really and truly guys, when you say, I'm a Bitcoin maximalist, you're really supporting the banks anyway. I mean, when people say, oh, oh, fuck the banks, F the banks, I'm into Bitcoin. Oh, happy place, happy place, happy place. It does not stop them. We're just getting to the good part. Are US Treasury bonds still safe to invest in? Very much so. I think there's a this is not an issue of credit rating. The United States can pay any debt it has because we can always print money to do that. So there is zero probability of default. What makes you think that you are so smart? You invested into Bitcoin, right? And people who have billions and trillions and who actually control the printing press of money are absolutely oblivious of, about Bitcoin and crypto. They, they've been there way before you. They know a lot more than you ever will. So anyway, Mastercard invested in DGC, Digital Currency Group. <laughs> uh, that, that's another video of its own. Digital Currency Group, they invested into Blockstream. Yeah, board director, digital... Fed, board director the Federal Reserve Bank of New York invested into Blockstream who controls the core devs for Bitcoin SegWit coin. An artificial block limit of one megabyte was uh, introduced to push people off chain into a side chain called SegWit and suck off the transaction. Blockstream. Blockstream is a blockchain technology company led by co-founder Adam Beck and founded by Gregory Maxwell very shady character. 
Peter Woolley, Jonathan Wilkins, Matt Corallo and others. Blockstream intends to develop software to I can't make this up. To break off transactions from the Bitcoin network and charge a fixed monthly fee to allow people to use the alternative side chains. Blockstream employs a large number of prominent Bitcoin core developers. The company has raised 76 million to date from investors, including venture capital firms, Horizon Ventures and Mosaic Ventures. However, if you follow the money where the more sinister uh, investors have come from, you will see that uh, when people say bankers coin, XRP is a bankers coin, the true bankers coin right now has become Segwit coin. But Lightning Network, CJ, Lightning Network is the, is the future of Bitcoin, guys. Find the most basic explanation of the Lightning Network. And uh, I, don't, I don't even know where to begin. You really have to be retarded to support it. Uh, which pretty much explains why Tone Vase supports Lightning Network. Tone Vase! God, I hate that guy. There's only a certain level of stupid I'm willing to accept. Either he doesn't really understand it, or he's paid by Blockstream. Because clearly you can't be that stupid. Or maybe he's both. But anyway, this is why uh, what Lightning Network will actually look like. It will be centralized, I mean centralized hubs, if it ever works. Of what people think Lightning Network looks like. It's basic, Lightning Network is a step backwards, but it's, it's like banking again. When you say XRP is a banker's coin, BSV is a banker's coin. No, Bitcoin Segwit is a banker's coin. It's really hard seeing something when it's right in front of your face. If you still don't get it, then I cannot help you. Recipe uh, blah, blah. Now to bake a ch fucking uh fuck ch ah fuck my fuck 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 blat ka yobanim